Hi, I'm Melinda Sawyer, Assistant Director of Patient Safety at the Armstrong Institute for Patient Safety and Quality. Here at Johns Hopkins, I'm responsible for overseeing CUSP implementation throughout the health system. I began my experience with CUSP as a unit nurse champion, and I worked for three years as a senior research coordinator on the On the CUSP Stop BSI national project. Working with my colleagues here and with many of you, I am even more certain that implementing the comprehensive unit-based safety program is not simply a project that we do, it's a commitment that we make to ourselves, to our unit, our hospital, and most importantly, to our patients. A CUSP unit proclaims that everyone on our unit is dedicated to working in a culture of safety and to providing the highest quality of patient care. I've always said that CUSP is not a sprint, it's a marathon. It involves three main phases of work. First, there are pre-CUSP activities. Then, you'll implement the five steps of CUSP. And finally, you'll want to sustain CUSP over time. Within each of these general phases, there are many tasks that must be done to be successful. All of this together, we call the phase line. Members of the CUSP team here at Johns Hopkins developed the phase line to be used as a checklist to help you navigate through CUSP. We have three goals for this tool. The first is to provide a roadmap so you can easily see all the steps that lie ahead of you. The second goal is that by understanding the road ahead, it will help you become a fully functional and independent CUSP team within one year. What you want to be is a team that doesn't need to rely on your hospital's infrastructure or other outside resources. And finally, the phase line checklist helps you to understand when a team is or is not ready to move on to the next phase. Although we strongly recommend you follow the phase line and use it as a checklist, our experience tells us that becoming a CUSP team is not necessarily a linear process. You may realize you need to repeat certain tasks or you may need to return to a task after you've moved on to the next phase. Every team's experience along the phase line will likely be somewhat different. That's what we found here at Hopkins and at hospitals across the country and around the world. Peter Pronovos likes to say, doing CUSP is tough stuff. And that's true. That's why we find that, that using the phase line provides a really useful blueprint to help tackle the tough work required to create a successful and independent CUSP team.